I have no idea what's in the water in Cleveland, but it's clearly polluted. It's clearly contaminated. Harmful, serious substances are inside of Lake Erie because all of a sudden, Michael Kendricks is suffering from dementia and a severe case of it. He has already forgotten that the Eagles reached the pinnacle last year while the Browns hit rock bottom. Are you serious, Michael? Are you kidding me? Seriously. In a preview of an upcoming Hard Knocks episode, Kendricks said that the Browns, who have gone 1-31 and the last two seasons, have, quote-unquote, so much more talent in this room than I did in Philly. It's not even funny. Now, when I initially heard that quote, I wanted some more context to it. Is he talking about the team? Is he talking about the linebackers? What is he talking about? Because he is right. It's not even funny. It's hilarious. How is he thinking these things? Okay, sure. All right. You can't blame Kendricks for believing in his new team. You can't. I mean, this is what players are going to do. But he brought the Eagles up unprompted. He brought this upon himself. And again, I'm curious to see uh, what, what the full context is because Kendricks even doubled down today on what he said. And here's uh, some of that and, and some of what he had to say uh, uh, about the quotes that he had on Twitter today. So he came back on Twitter and he doubled down, like I was saying. So here he goes. Maybe, just maybe, HBO's Hard Knocks will show the rest of the speech I was giving to them. By showing the full message, perhaps it would give more clarity to my opinions, placing the entire message I was trying to give in full context while show why it's not funny. Philly was the best team last year, not because of having the best talent but because we were the best overall unit in football. How else would a team beat the Patriots? Here at the Browns, we have the capabilities to be an even better team because the natural raw talent here. Okay, here's what I will say in his defense. They are moving in the right direction in Cleveland. A very, very underrated front seven. You got Miles Garrett. You got Emmanuel Ogba along your defensive line. Your linebackers. Probably the most underrated starting trio in football when you look at Jamie Collins, Christian Kirksey, and Joe Sherber. You got Baker Mayfield. Maybe he's the answer at quarterback for Cleveland, an answer they've been waiting for forever. You got some weapons. Josh Gordon, Jarvis Landry. They might take a leap this year. Maybe they even make the playoffs. But to think that they are more talented than the champs It's asinine. Win a game first. Then you can talk to me. 